Everything in our solar system is in motion, and nothing is moving in a straight line, including the Earth. So how can we tell whether an asteroid is on a collision course with us? Let's see what it really takes to chart the path of an asteroid in space. An asteroid is dangerous only if its path through space intersects with the orbit of the Earth. But how can we know? And how can we predict whether Earth will or won't pass safely through that intersection? It all relies on knowing the orbit of the asteroid. An orbit of any object around the Sun is flat. So let's mark the orbital plane with a gigantic blackboard in space and draw an orbit. Five numbers tell us everything we need to know about it. The first number describes the overall size. The second describes the shape, round or elongated. The third gives the orientation in the orbital plane. If we add the orbit of Earth as a reference, we can see how the fourth number describes the tilt of the orbital plane, and the fifth the direction of the tilt. The only thing we're missing is exactly where the asteroid is along that path. That's given by a timestamp at the moment the asteroid passes its closest point to the Sun. If we know these six orbital elements, we can predict where the asteroid will be at any time, and how we will see it from our moving vantage point on the Earth, in this case over the shoulder of the constellation Orion, before sunrise on July 31st, 2015. By the next day, both objects will have moved along their orbits, putting the asteroid in a slightly different position on the sky. After another 24 hours, more motion, and another new position. Knowing the orbital elements, we can map the asteroid's position and calculate exactly where in the sky it would be at any time in the past or future. But with a newly discovered asteroid, we don't have this knowledge. Look over here. This is where the object 2012 UE34 was first observed, in October 2012. After a discovery, we have to figure out what combination of orbital elements will make the calculated positions match the observed ones. Once we've done that, we can see where the object was in space when we discovered it, and chart its orbit around the Sun. UE34's orbit is a bit inclined with respect to the Earth's orbit, and it spends almost all of its time farther from the Sun than we are. But we can also see that the orbits intersect, which makes this object a potentially hazardous asteroid, around 100 meters in diameter. Since its discovery, its natural orbital motion has actually caused its distance from the Earth to increase. The potential problem doesn't happen for decades, so let's skip forward to the late 2030s. Still following its natural orbit, UE34 has a close encounter with Earth in early April 2041. How close? That's a question of precision. The discovery observations could only pin down a range of orbits between these two extremes, A and B. The calculated positions in October 2012 are nearly the same. You can hardly see the difference. But in 2041, it matters. Perhaps Earth passes through the point of intersection before the asteroid. Or perhaps the asteroid passes through the intersection before the Earth. Or anything in between. Fortunately, in the months after discovery, the differences between the orbits became big enough to be noticeable. And follow-up observations using different telescopes let us rule out the extremes and narrow the range of possibilities. So we now know that the 2041 encounter will be a near miss on April 8th. But if we had not obtained those follow-up observations in early 2013, we would not be able to get them now. UE34 is on the opposite side of the Sun from the Earth, and won't be observable again until sometime in 2018. Discovery alone is not enough. Follow-up observations over months and sometimes years are essential for accurately assessing an asteroid hazard. In its orbit around the Sun, Earth travels a distance equal to its own diameter in seven minutes. Minutes literally make the difference between an asteroid impact and a near miss. 
one of the best ways to mitigate an impact risk is to make sure the asteroid misses. But predicting with a precision of a few minutes, years in advance, exactly when an asteroid will arrive at an intersection between its orbit and Earth's challenges our best observational and computational techniques.